I don't hear a storm. Let's take a look at this, actually. This. Oh, this has much more. Yeah. Okay. So let's take this, this lantern that doesn't have much liquid in it. Liquid. Fuel. Okay. I'm going to need to make coffee. I think I'm going to do that on the next map. I know this looks like a lot of coffee, which is great. Eat and head out. Pray for good weather. We're not over encumbered. We don't want that can. We don't want that anymore. I'm just, dro I'm just dropping stuff now. Okay. We have lots of bullets. This is good. Okay. Heading out the front door. Here we go. This is going to be a long day of traveling. Let's do it. Crap, it is foggy. Okay. Oh, God. It has been so long since I've done this. Okay. I remember you have to go through that archway there. That tree? See that tree that's shaped like an arch? That's where we need to go. And there is a wolf over there. There's a lot of wolves over there. Lots of wolves over there. Really? I really, I really want to go this way because if I go a different way and get lost, that's going to be bad. Can I do it? Can I crouch? I shouldn't. I just shouldn't. I should go this way. should just chance of the getting lost over fighting four wolves. I am worried about a bear though because I think there's a bear up here. It's here somewhere. to go past that this like road area here and I believe we want to go up this hill right in front of me between the rocks I, I believe we will see Some saplings over there it's really great if you want to do bow and arrow you need the saplings to make bows and arrows We're gonna have to cross a river, so if we come up to a river, we know we're on the right track. Look at that! There's a wolf, so we'll just go this way. Oh, I think that's exactly where we want to be. I think. Oh, no, this is not right. there more okay we have to go past the wolves so maybe we'll just try to scare them off and then run past them and then hope that they don't follow that's the plan and if this is anything like arc the plan will go off without a hitch or what if I just kept on going this way actually Oh, that's where I want to go up. Yes. Okay. So there should be a way down right here. Yay. And then there's a bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge. Okay. How far are we from the wolves? We're doing good. There's like this really steep hill over here we need to go up. Just an antsy, 
so I keep on running, but I need to <laughs> calm down. Oh, God, that scared me. Let's take care of it right away. Sprained wrist, we need a bandage. Okay. By the way, if you use the bandage on the wrong thing, it won't heal it. And then we need to take painkillers, too, for pain. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay. Now, let's just... Just walk up the hill, like, seriously? Again? So that will prevent us from using two-handed weapons. Like, I'm pretty sure I want to go all the way up this hill. Okay, we're at the top, kinda. So let's take a moment to take care of this other hand that I sprained. Is there a cave over there? There is a cave. Okay, so we've definitely made it up in the right spot. Um. I mean, coming up where I did doesn't have to be the right spot, but this is the right part of the map. So what I want to do is get over to the right. Although, I guess I don't have to go over that way. But there is shelter there. You know what? I'm warm. Maybe I shouldn't go to the right. And find shelter and just, like, keep on... So many birds. Let's just keep on going this way. We're feeling good. We're feeling real good. Let's go this way. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there. It's not my attitude last episode, but you know, feel, feeling good. When the weather is nice like this in the game, it's it's a good idea to take advantage and go do things. Get out. Explore. Find stuff. So the reason why I'd, I had wanted to go to the right is there's... I don't know if I mentioned this a moment ago. The reason why I wanted to go to the right is because there's a shelter over there. Um, but yeah, like we don't, we don't need it. We're good. Continuing on. You don't need the wood, but whatever. More saplings? Would you like to see the saplings? There's two different kinds. One makes the bow and one makes the arrow. I don't remember which does which. Those won't lose condition, by the way. If you had wanted to do a playthrough with guns and then decided you wanted to switch to bow and arrow, all those spawns, possible spawn locations, they'll still be there. So, up here, there's a wolf. There's going to be a house ah, in a rock climbing area. That's where we want to be. We're going to have to start climbing now. We've reached that part of the journey. So we'll just sneaky sneak past this wolf. Go into this broke-ass house right here. Check out what's over here. Okay, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something here. Ooh, coffee. I'm going to leave firewood here. Oh, peanut butter.
and an accelerant. And a couple of matches? Question mark? Okay. Because it has happened to me before that as I'm climbing down, you, this is your first stop. This is my last stop onto the next map. So this is the first stop on your way back. And if you enter this region and it is terrible weather and you're freezing and there's a storm, I've had to use this location to stay to wait out a storm before. And so it's a good idea to leave stuff for yourself in this container so that you can sustain a fire in here. So we're just thinking ahead with that. And we're going to climb, so we need to check oops, that we are not encumbered, which we aren't. And we need to drink some coffee. So here's where the coffee is going to start to come in handy. When you're climbing, it takes a lot of energy. And if you get stuck on the rope, you will be in trouble, like lots of trouble. So we're going to drink coffee to give us energy and it's going to give us the fatigue reduced benefit like it says there on the screen right now which means anything that you do that takes a lot of fatigue will be reduced and it'll be less energy to do that to do that action one more thing about the ropes is sometimes you will come across a ledge like the one on my right that i'm just walking past right now right here where you can get up onto the ledge and hang out there for a bit. So if you need to take a break, drink some more coffee, get some energy back, see my energy on the right there, do that. Like step onto that ledge and take that break so that you don't put yourself in more danger. And we're just gonna head down this little like tunnely area here into the next region. Some twists and turns but there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any wolves i've never come across any animals right up here so this is a safe little spot too if you get here then you're okay can you see how much energy that took like if you look down at my little eyeball icon on the left there i had about two-thirds full when i started going up that rope and now I'm at about one third. So it took a lot of energy to climb up the rope. Climbing down, not as hard. You still have to make sure that you're not encumbered. You still have to make sure you've got the energy. The way down though is not difficult, but the way up will get you into a lot of trouble. Okay, here we are in the Timberwolf Mountain map. You guys, we made it. We finally made it. I really shouldn't talk too soon. I haven't even gone up the mountain yet. There's a whole deal before we actually get to the top. So this is just the region. And I should explain as we come out of this little windy, I don't know, crevo a canyon type thing, <laughs> that uh, there is a moose spawn out here. So we're just going to have to watch out for moose, mooses. We're just going to have to watch out for moose. If you find that, those wheels, you're, you're uh, heading in the right direction. Okay, so the moose spawn is actually um, on the right here. When I say moose spawn, I don't mean that there will be a moose. I just mean that there's a chance that they're there. And when you see trees with markings on it like that, you know that you've found a moose spawn area. So just keeping an eye on it. You see more markings on that tree indicating still that we're in the moose spawn area you know it i've seen i've i've been here in this location a lot you want to go through this arch by the way um i've been in this location a lot and i've only ever seen a moose once up there like generally up there 
So I'm not too scared about it, but yeah, those things will F you up. Okay, so this is going to be our little home on the map now. While we do everything we need to do, all of our preparation for the big journey. It's a really cute little location. Not much storage, but it's the best in the area. There's a fishing hut. So, yeah, you, you could fish here. Um, is that a wolf? No, is that a deer? If that's a wolf, what is that? That's a deer. I found a hatchet once in one of these boats, so that's why I'm looking. Where was it? Or was it up here on the dock? I don't know. It was an interesting find, anyway. Nonetheless, let's go to the little fishing hut quick. And then we'll come back up to the house. Because we're going to stay in this house. We're at... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to need to leave in the morning. We've got to give ourselves a lot of daylight. I really wish the door to this little fishing hut was facing the other direction. Like right here. So if you wanted to stay here long term, which isn't a great idea, but it's doable, you could pick up rocks and drop them every few feet in a, in a path leading to the house so that in the dark or during a storm, you could just find your way back. To safety. Oh, that's good. To safety. Really easily. It's giving me a fishing book. Should I read it? Scrawled message. Have to make the canyon before dark. The howling went all night. I feel ya, dude. Oh! Memento hint. What? Huh. Is that new to me, or... I mean, it does seem like it. Okay. Oh, hatchet. Okay. So, yeah, just checking out that cute little hut, and then we're going to head back. There's also a bear spawn in this area up there a bit, and another moose spawn that we'll walk past. So, definitely need to make sure that we're fully prepared, and the weather is good, and we're feeling good. Actually, God, the weather is good right now. I, I don't think it would be a good good idea to go, but like, it's warm. Or I've just got the clothes. The right clothes. Alright. Let's get comfortable here, because we're going to be staying. Just for a little bit. Climber's Journal page, September 5th. Arrived at the base of Timberwolf Mountain. Looks like there are some nice cracks, just like Clive said. Going to set up a top rope and do some bouldering until the others show up. Hopefully soon. September 6th. Wondering if my friends got lost as they still haven't arrived. Woke up in the middle of the night to a deafening noise and fire on the mountain. Went to check it out, but the weather got nasty and I couldn't find my way. September 7th. Clear day, I went out again found some metal cargo crates. They look like they might have come from a plane. There's still smoke coming from the summit. I'm heading out to see if I can make it to the peak and learn more about what's going on. Did I write this? <laughs> this is us. We're going to go see what's going on at the peak. Hacksaw. So they usually put a hacksaw in this little cabin because uh, you definitely need it for what's coming. Corpse with computer found. These coordinates can't be local. Pitiable. Can't be a local, I mean. <laughs> I can read. Um. I'm pretty sure I know what that one's talking about. 
Okay. Uh, sometimes there's stuff up here. There's a big pile of wood. That's fantastic. This is not considered an indoor location. So uh, you can... It can get really cold. I mean, you're blocked from the wind, so it'll help to be in here. Oh, you guys, a lantern! Oh, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> Inventory management time. Why won't you repair? Come on, we can get there. There it is. So is it better? Yeah, like, kind of. Okay, but we're going to keep the toque, because <laughs> the toque is good. And we're going to need to start a fire, and we're going to make more coffee. Because I don't want to be left without coffee. We have a hacksaw. It's better condition, so we'll leave that one here. pick up those cooking pots okay so I'm not gonna need as much water as I made and my weight is really good this is this is where we want it you want it to be so I have 35 total when I'm well rested you want it to be quite a bit lower um, I might actually go through everything again before I leave and just make sure it's even lower than that yet and taking mostly essentials with me uh, to make the climbing easier, to make everything we find easier to go through and take back down. So, yeah, and that's it for this one. I'm going to go to sleep here in this cabin, and when I wake up, if the weather is good, we will head out to the top of the mountain. So, that's it for today. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!